Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brandy, and today I will be doing a spring clean, um, I don't know, I'll just be doing a spring cleaning. So, since I was a kid, I've always done spring cleaning. Um, I would always go through all my clothes. This is my mother's um, task that she would always have me do. Go through all my clothes, see what still fit and what I grew out of, um, and then I would give the items that I grew out of to Goodwill or whatever charity that we would go to. Sometimes we would go to Goodwill, sometimes we would go to Salvation Army. We would give those items away and then make room, and that would make room for us to purchase new items. So that is how my mom always used to entice me to give get rid of stuff. She'd be like, if you give stuff away, you can get new stuff. Um, and I just kept that habit throughout my life, even in college, every spring I would always go through my closet, get rid of things that I no longer needed, um, or no longer liked, or no longer fit, or what have you. Um, and then as I transitioned into an adult, I realized I don't have to wait till spring to do a spring clean every year. I can honestly just do it at every season change. Thankfully, now that I live in Cal Southern California, there's pretty much only two um, seasons, so I don't have to do it four times a year. I basically only do this two times a year. And I do it when I switch over my summer closet to my winter closet and do it switch over my winter closet to my summer closet. So right now, um, the day that I'm filming this, it is the last week of April, so we're on the precipice of spring, summer, um, so I figured it was a pretty good time to go ahead and switch over my closet. Um, by the time this video this comes out, it probably, it, well I know that it definitely won't be April by the time this video comes out, but it'll probably be in the middle of summer when this video comes out. So just bear in mind that I'm filming this video before summer, I'm filming it at the beginning of spring. Um, and there are some items that I have held on to um, because of work because of winter, um, it's just like cozy or really warm, but it's time to you know, let go and let my style be reinvigorated by new items that I will pick out next winter. So I think in this video, I'm just gonna do the tops and not the bottoms because otherwise it would be kind of a long video. Uh, so I think I wanna split it up, but we'll see. It depends on how long it takes me to get through all my tops. So I'm going to be doing my casual tops, my sweaters, and then jackets and sweaters, <laughs> like not pullover sweaters, but like cardigans, that's what I'm looking for. So I'll be doing tops, sweaters, and cardigans slash jackets um, so far in this video. Uh, so this top that I'm wearing right now is a sweater. This is a casual sweater that I would wear like on a weekend or something like that. Um, it is from Forever 21. It's black, as you can see, it is a low v-neck top. Um, and then it's pretty much the same in the back. It has like a little bit of a v-neck in the back. Um, but I really like this sweater. It's like fitted, it's nice. It still has a lot of life left in it. So I'm pretty much gonna keep this one. Um, but I know for sure there are some items that I'm gonna wanna give away and some obviously that I'm gonna keep. This is gonna go in the keep pile. I'm gonna do a giveaway pile. I think I'm gonna do my giveaway pile over here and then I'm, and I'm gonna do my keep pile over here. So this is gonna go into the keep pile. So let me start with my tops. Like my, my casual tops, not sweaters, if that makes sense. Okay, let's just get started. Okay, so this is obviously a change of pace. So the last two items that I showed you were, are basically my only like casual clothes or tops that I have to wear outside of work. Um, if I have not said this before, which I think I might have. I before the pandemic, I was staying home. I went from being at school 24/7, being at school, having an internship, having a job not like I basically only paid money to sleep somewhere to having a full-time job and basically spending my whole life doing that um, and basically only paying to sleep somewhere because on the weekends I would always go out um, to having to stay home 24 7 because of the pandemic so once I once the pandemic hit and I had to be home all the time I realized I don't have that many casual clothes so sadly enough those are my only casual tops that I had for fall winter all year um, so that kind of opened my eyes. So 
so we're actually just gonna jump right into the tops that I would wear to work. So this is one of them. This is like a, what material is this? It's like that, like polyester, I think. It's a polyester top, it's black. It has um, the sleeves that are like flowy, has a v-neck, which I like. It has a little like open moment at the back. I hope you can see that. Um, nobody hardly ever sees this, but I usually just wear like, like I said, any cold I work, so I usually wear like a sweater or something over it. But yeah, it's a nice black like staple. It's like classic. There's nothing like gonna go out of style. Maybe this sleeve type will go out of style, but like, I mean, they're just sleeves. Like, there's nothing like too flamboyant or like, you know, nothing that sticks out about it. So I think I'm gonna keep it. I mean, it's a classic. I've had it for like maybe a year, maybe a year and a half. I can't exactly remember. But I, regardless, I like this top. This classic black, it never goes out of style. So I'm gonna keep it. This next top is kind of a lot. So it, it's navy blue. It has these like gold fish brown polka dots to it, which you know, I like a polka dot moment. It also has like this bell sleeve detail to it. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Again, it's polyester. I like polyester shirts for work because if you get too hot, you just take your jacket off. If you get too cold, you put your jacket on and it's breathable, which I like. Um, yeah. But I don't know, when it comes to this one, I've worn it a lot. I've had this for at least two years and I think that I got everything I needed from it. The bell sleeve it's a little 2016, 2017. It's a little outdated at this point, even though obviously I'm still enjoying it a little bit because I like an intricate sleeve, but I've already worn it a lot. And the other thing that's kind of impractical about it, like I said, I like to wear uh, polyester to work. Um, if I get cold, I put a jacket on. If I get hot, I take the jacket off and the material is breathable. But with this bow sleeve, I ha basically have to like fold it like this in order to put my arm in a jacket which I don't like that much. Um, I don't love it. I've already looked on it for two years. It served me well. I probably paid like five or six dollars for, for it and it lasted me like two, two and a half years. Um, I don't know if 2020 really counts on my own account. 2020 is a half a year so it lasts me like two and a half years. Um, and so I'm, it's been well loved. I'm gonna let someone else have it and this is gonna go in the giveaway pile. Okay, so this next top is also navy blue as you can it has polka dots yet again so it's like a cotton material it's a little bit of a boat neck uh, neckline and then the sleeves have like this silky material that has like polka dots on it and again it has like a uh, brownish orangish gold and white polka dot on it um, and then on the back it's the same it just it has a few buttons at the back detail actually it goes all the way down not all of them are usable, only the ones like at the top so you can get in and out of it. Um, it's a nice top. I know for a fact that I bought this shirt because it's by The Limited. It's a size large. Um, it has served me well, but again, I don't think three or four sleeves is really like my thing when it comes to work. Again, I get cold and then I put a jacket on and then it's hot and I take it off. Um, and then with the three or four sleeves, when I put a jacket on, I don't want it to like go up when I put the jacket on and so then I'm trying to like hold it and then put the jacket on it's just like a lot like I have to think about it I've worn it a lot I had it for like one and a half years I got to get used out of it again I probably paid like five or six bucks for it it's a good brand it was good quality I definitely used it it doesn't have a lot of wear and tear someone else can love it um, I've loved on it and so I think I'm gonna put it in the giveaway pile Okay, so this next top is a white v-neck top. If you look closely, the, you can see in the details that the v-neck part is actually like, it has frayed, like intentional frayed, not like I accidentally messed up the shirt turn sort of frayed, but it has frays on the edges. It gives a little bit of like character. Um, it has like a print to it. It's again, it's floral, but it's not a, in your face flowers. It's kind of like, abstract if you will um, and it's black and white my favorite color palette for work goes with everything and I really like this top it works works super well I've worn this with like 
black uh, dress pants, a black blazer, and it looks so, so like put together and like classy, classic. I love this top, honestly. I've only had it for like a year. I pretty much got it at the end of 2019 and then I wore it for like a few months and then I went to work from home. So I've only worn it a few times and I still really like it. So I'm gonna keep living on it. Um, it's a size large. It's from the same brand as the other, the first, not the first, the first black um, work shirt that I showed you. It's called like Pelion. Um, it's a size large, same with the other one. Um, and yeah, I just really like these shirts. Like I really like the polyester, just like nice classic cut sort of v-neck polyester work shirt. I really like it and I love this pattern. I love the floral. Um, yeah, it looks just so put together when it's like the full like tucked into your your um, work <laughs> your work uh, not work like when it's tucked into your, like your dress pants and or your dress skirt it just looks good so yeah this is a keeper let's move on okay. so this next one is a three quarter sleeve um like tunic style top again it's made out of the same material it's a baby 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 pink and then it has like a black pattern to it um it's not really a shape it's kind of just like two lines i don't know if you can really see that well can you see that it's just like two lines um i really like the pattern i don't like it that it's three four sleeve again like the other one i'm like okay let me hold the sleeve let me put my iron in i'm just like ocd like that but i like that this top is baby pink like i said a million times before I kind of like to keep a neutral color palette for work, but this baby pink is like so, 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 so light and it's not really pink pink, it's kind of like, I don't know what to call it, it's like a pinkish but like grayish sort of thing and it's so like, um, demure that it doesn't, it's like a pop of color but it's not like pop. So for that reason, even though it is three quarter sleeve, I still really like it, it still has a lot of life in it. This one, I showed you this one before when I was first made my first video about shopping at Goodwill. I got this one from Goodwill. Um, it's from the brand L, like L magazine. They apparently make both. So it's from L. And it's a size small. I don't know. Brands make weird sizing. I fit into small, I fit into medium, I fit into large. It just depends on the brand. Um, but yeah, I still really like this top. I'm going to keep loving on it. So this is going to go in the keep pile. Okay, so this top, as you can tell, is a little different than the rest. It is a tan beige color, and then it has um, some like gold, yellow, blue flowers. Um, I know I said I don't like big flowers, but for this one, I feel like they work. I generally I don't like big flowers like on a print, but I do like this one. Uh, this top is relatively new to me. Again, I got it from Goodwill. Pretty much everything I've showed you so far, except for that one sweater that I got from uh, Forever 21, has been from Goodwill. Like I said, I'll say it again, it's actually true. Most of my wardrobe that I have for work is from Goodwill. Again, it has like that sort of like loose sleeve. I like this sort of style for work. I think it looks like, you know, well put together. Obviously, it is very see-through. When I wear it to work, it's see through like undershirt under it, but I didn't feel like doing all that just for this video. It's the same all around, and I really like this shirt. This shirt is actually relatively new. Sorry if you're doing this. I don't know what this is. This shirt is relatively new. Um, I actually bought this shirt, I want to say in 2021. Did I buy this shirt in 2021? I might have bought this shirt in 2021, maybe the end of 2020, when I was going, when I got that, um, when I, okay, so in 2020, I was working from home, and then I got a new assignment, and I was instead of going to the office, and then I got a promotion, and now I'm back at home. So, in that short period of time when I was going back into the office, I was still going to Goodwill, you know, just looking around, see if there's anything, and I saw this shirt, and I was like, oh, this would be good to, like, mix up my wardrobe. So I picked this up either at the end of 2020 or the beginning of 2021, right before I got my promotion. So this is a relatively new top. I still really like it. Um, I don't know guys, I feel like I might be transitioning out of neutrals, even though tan is still basically neutral. It still has color, okay? The the pattern has color, so I'm getting this, you know, this is straying more into the color. 
world. Even though it's neutral background, it still has a little color. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. This one's going to the cute pile. Okay, so now we are moving into sweater territory. And this is a navy blue wool sweater. It's from Calvin Klein. Can you see that the little tag there? It's 100% wool sweater. A navy blue from Calvin Klein. Again, v neck because v neck is my thing and I really need to pens um, but it is a nice just like casual sweater um, I have worn this on weekends and I have worn this to work on a casual Friday sort of thing um, it's just like a basic crew neck slash v-neck um, sweater it's nice and warm uh, it did have so I don't know if it came like this or if I accidentally made it like this but I'm pretty sure it's my fault because it looks like this and I said I probably wouldn't have bought it but I took this home, I washed it, and I think what happened was I washed it in the same mold that had like a dress that had a bunch of sequins on it um, because I bought this actually at the top of 2020 because the dress that I washed this with was a dress like a flapper style dress that I found at Goodwill for a New Year's Eve party and I'm pretty sure that sequin dress ripped this up on the sleeve so I actually did a little needlework like right here I don't know if you can see it on camera and right here and I like stitched up the holes myself I didn't I wasn't like this is ruined I have to give this away or throw it away or whatever I was like you know what I'm gonna salvage this they're just like little holes little tears and I'm pretty sure it was a dress it had to have been a dress because if I saw this in a store I obviously wouldn't have bought it and this was back in the days where I could actually try it on in the store so I definitely tried this on and they, if it would have had holes I would have seen it so that's totally my fault I'll take accountability so I repaired this sweater it's a really nice sweater it keeps me warm nobody has ever noticed that I patched up the holes um, so and I wore this to work I have worn this to work legit so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this sweater it's a really really good investment piece it's wool it's gonna keep you warm for decades just don't wash it in hot water because it will shrink um, so this is going in the cute pile. Okay. So this sweater is a tan, again, a v-neck sweater that I got years ago, probably like in 2016 or 2017. Um, it's a thick, 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 like ribbed sweater, if you can see that. It is super cozy, comfy, but it is not my style anymore. So, and I already knew this, like, when I pulled this out of the closet, like, I was like, mm, I haven't worn this in months. I think the last time I wore it was, like, once I wore it to the office during the whole pandemic thing. And that's when I really, fig like, figured out for myself that I was kind of, like, not really feeling it anymore. Um, it served me well. Like I said, I've had it since 2016 or 2017, so that's at least four or five years. It's lived its life with me. It has a lot of life left in it. I don't know why I like to adjust my myself, but it has a lot of life, a lot of life left in it. Say that three times fast. Um, just not with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and gift this one to Goodwill, and it will serve as a home for someone else. Okay, so this next top is I don't know whether or not to like. I was kind of like wondering or not if I should put this in the sweater category. It's technically made in nylon. But if you can see, it has like that ribbed texture to it. Texture or like pattern, I don't even know what to call it. Um, but it's a really nice, like it's kind of grandma y but I also kind of like it. If you look, it has like this cut out here. Oh no, one <laughs> light is washing me out here. Let me see if I can lower it. So it has this cut out here. And then it has like this diamond. There we go. So it has like this diamond and it has this cut out that I really like. And then it just has like a regular crew neck neckline. So this back up and back up. Um, but yeah, it's three quarter sleeve, but I honestly really, really like this top. It's like classy, um, but like a little risque, but like still classy. I've definitely worn this to work with, um, you know, just like dress pants or like a dress skirt. And it just like gives a little visual interest to a regular outfit. Um, again, if you can't tell, I have a pretty basic, I have like, I wouldn't call it basic, I just have like a really classic style that I like to go for when I'm going to work in a professional setting. And I still really like this top. Um, have I worn it on the weekend? Have I worn it casual? 
I don't know if I have worn this casually, but I mean, as you can see, I'm wearing it with jeans and it doesn't look bad. Like, it doesn't look bad, does it? I don't think it looks bad. So, I mean, I think it's a really good dual, um, like, not dual quality, but like, it has dual usage. I could wear it to work or I could wear it, you know, just out and about if I want to, like, have a classy moment and just, like, have a glass of champagne. Like, that is calling my name. I don't know if it's just a work week, but glass of champagne is calling my name. All that to say, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep this in a cute pile. This next sweater I have definitely worn to work and I have definitely worn not to work. So it has dual purposing to it. Um, so this is a Heather Gray cashmere, yes, you heard that, cashmere sweater from, uh, is it the Limited or is it Banana Republic? I think it's Banana Republic, but I got this from Goodwill, yes. Yes, you heard it right. I got this from Goodwill and it's 100% cashmere. It is so classy, so elegant. I wear it as a cow neck to work, but then you can also do like an off shoulder moment. Like, I'm sorry, it's a little hard to do <laughs> by myself. Like, you can do an off shoulder moment or you can stay, go like me and do a cow neck moment. And I love this with like a necklace, like just like a single diamond necklace. Uh, so delicious, it's just great. I love this sweater, I'm never giving it up. I'm gonna pass this down as a family heirloom. Like I don't think I would ever buy, I mean I won't say never, knock on wood. Maybe, hopefully I'll get to the place one day when I can afford to buy cashmere brand new, but if I can find cashmere in Goodwill, I'll just keep like that. I mean, why not? So yeah, this is definitely a keeper. So when I said those first two pieces that I showed you were the only casual items that I had for fall and winter, I lied. I'm sorry. I totally forgot about these next few pieces. So here's the first one. This is a white sweater. It's like, not thin, but it's just like a light sweater that has like this black and gray like speckly moment in it. It reminds me of like that pottery that's like super trendy right now or maybe it's trendy like a few months ago um, that I really like um, so I really like this sweater again it's in my colors black and white and gray love that love that for me I bought this during the pandemic I actually got it from Breeze discount and it was on clearance I'm pretty sure that I paid like 99 cents for this it has an asymmetrical moment in the front and the back I don't know if you can see that so it's asymmetrical to the left side of me, uh, my left to your right, I think. Um, and then it has a cow neck around the neckline. And it's just like a super comfy, just like light lay around a uh, weekend type of sweater. I really like it. It is a struggle trying to keep it clean. I love wearing white and black and gray, but wearing like white is so hard to keep clean. Like the pressure of trying to keep it clean is like so hard, but I've been able to do it so far I've owned this for like two or three months now and so far I have not stained it I did spill something on it once I think it was like spaghetti or barbecue sauce but I immediately was like get this off under the sink like <laughs> with like a little bit of Dawn soap and just like rub the area rub the area cold water cold water cold water and it got out like you can't do you see a stain here do you see a stain here do you you don't because I got it out. So yeah, this is definitely a keeper. I've obviously only had it for a few months, like I said. I still really love it. So I'm gonna keep, be keeping it. Okay, so this top is another casual sweater. It's not as like light as the other one is, but it's still pretty light. It has like a boat neck-esque sort of neckline here. Um, it's three quarter sleeve and it's gray. It has like, if you can see, it has a curved hem along the bottom, front and back. Um, it comes up a little bit here and I really like it. I've had this for like, I want to say three or four years. Yeah, it has to be because I'm pretty sure I had this in graduate school, which was like in 2016 or 2018. So it's been like a good amount of time. Maybe, wait, how long has it been since 2018? Yeah, three or four years. I was right. Um, so yeah, it's been like three or four years that I had this. I still really like it. It's still like in almost perfect condition. It's not like brand new anymore, but it's still like 
like a pretty good thing that she heard. I have definitely worn this to work again. Here we go. I have definitely worn this to work on like a casual Friday type of thing. And I've obviously worn this on the weekend. It's very casual, very like light. And I just like it. Like, and I'm going to keep it. So that's that. Um, I think along the, yeah, along the side here, I don't know if it's really picking up on camera. Can you see that? But it has like a braided, oh, there you go. It has like a braided detail here that goes here. Like, it's just a good sweater. I don't even remember where I got this from. Probably like Ross or Burlington or something like that. I don't think that I got this from Dollar Tree. Or not Dollar Tree, Goodwill. I'm pretty sure that I did not get this from Goodwill, but yeah, it's really nice. And I'm gonna keep it. So this next item is a pullover sweatshirt. Um, I got this from Ross, but it is by the brand BB, obviously. As you can see, it has like this iridescent like thing to it. Like, look at this. Um, and then it has like the. I kind of feel like I'm gonna be like riding a bike or something. Like it has like the safety freaking tape on it. Um, but yeah, I really like this. It's cute. Um, it's just like a nice just like pullover moment um, and then I pretty much picked it up because of this like iridescent thing like this blue green purple situation it's really cute the back is just plain pretty sure it's like that like scuba material it's not that comfortable like like the thread that they used to sew it with is like I don't know it's like really thick it's kind of itchy but if you just wear your undershirt you can't feel it. Um, it has like the slit and the like sleeve thing, so you can like do this. It was like still just like 2007 all the way. Um, but yeah, it's just like very comfy, very just like weekend, like just like hanging out at the park. I don't know why I keep saying that, but that's like, the only thing we could do last year. So it was like hanging out at the park, throwing this like pullover hoodie or sweatshirt. No big deal. Like whatever jeans. This is definitely a keeper. It's less than a year old and I still like it and it still has a lot to give. Like it's basically, like there's no wear and tear on it. Like there's nothing, like it's basically brand new. Like you see that, it's basically brand new. It's keeping. Okay, so this is like a cropped hoodie moment. It basically fits me at the waistline. Um, it's just like a gray, plain, like you know, just regular hoodie, like hoodie material. Um, with white strings, it's like you know a basic. Uh, this is actually gifted to me. It's actually a set, so it's a cropped hoodie and then sweatpants. Um, this was gifted to me for my birthday last year um, because it's for my friend. I really like sets, like sweatsuit sets. So she was like, "Here's a sweatsuit set, girl." Um, I'm pretty sure it's from Target, and yeah, this is so comfortable. It's been so great to have this during the pandemic while I'm working from home and just on the computer all day and I just want to be comfy cozy you know what I'm saying um yeah it's a keeper definitely not getting this away anytime soon until crop tops go out of style this will be in my closet so the last section of clothes that I'm going to be showing to you in this video like we're already at 45 minutes basically I'm just wearing like a basic like top under here because this this last section is just like cardigans and jackets um so this particular jacket i got from goodwill surprise surprise it's by ann taylor loft the loft brand under ann taylor the larger brand um it is like one of those like i don't know what this style is called but like it has like the collar that goes up and then it's like a cardigan it has pockets on both sides it's a light gray color it's super cozy it's really nice and i really like it i get a lot of use out of it from work um you can honestly also wear it casual like i'm wearing it with jeans right now and just like you know basic like spaghetti shot top with it um but yeah i really like this one i got it like i said i got it from goodwill probably for like seven eight bucks and it's a good brand it does have like some feeling to it if you can see that like I said, I've got some good use out of it. I've had it for uh, maybe like two, two and a half years. So when I got it, it was it was definitely used. It wasn't like brand new, brand new, like some of the other stuff that I had bought from Goodwill. Um, and I have definitely loved on it a lot. And I still love it, so I'm gonna keep it. Um, so yeah, maybe by the time that I don't want this anymore, I don't know if it'll still be able to be used by someone else. 
but we'll cross that bridge if and when we get to it. So yeah, this is a keeper. Okay, so this is, remember I was talking about the yellow gold pops of color that I have worn to work before? This is what I'm talking about. This is a cardigan. It has like that poofy sleeve. Um, it's not exactly long sleeve, but it's not exactly three quarter sleeve. It's like kind of has like one inch before the wrist. Um, and then it's like kind of like a cropped one at that. So it's not like, you know, like a full sweater. So I've worn this to work a few times, um, just like with a basic black dress. And I think it's more of a casual thing. But do I really wear it? I honestly don't wear it that often. But I do really like this color, so I'm a little like torn. Like, I don't know if I should keep this or not. I think I would actually like it more if it had a button. Like, if it just had like one button, like maybe like here, or maybe just like near the bottom. That actually looks kind of cute. Like, if it was a wrap, that would actually be adorable. Maybe I should upcycle this. Okay, I might keep this and upcycle it and just like sew a button because I can sew a button like I've mended folds before in clothing so I can sew a button it's just like you know up over up over like that's nothing so yeah I think I'm gonna DIY this I think I'm gonna keep this and then do like a button moment oh wait but then I have to put a hole so the button is more curved okay I'm gonna think this through but I am gonna keep this for now and potentially add a button to it. I just have to figure out how I'm gonna do that without a sewing machine. I am a hand sew person. I do not own a sewing machine right now. Uh, that is a skill that I wanna learn, but as of right now, I don't have that skill, so I'm either gonna have to find someone that I know that can help me out, or I'm gonna have to figure out how to do it. So, stay tuned for that. This last one is just like a basic black cardigan. It has some like ribbing to it, you can see it has again like that collar and then there's a sleeve as you can see it's like faded at this point it's not like black 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 when i step back because the lights are so bright it looks more it looks darker black but in person it definitely looks faded black it goes down to like a third of a third of the way into my thigh and i'm only five two so it kind of swallows me and that is because this is a size of large so like i said in the beginning I didn't say that in the beginning. Probably not. I'm probably thinking of a different video. So, like I said in other videos, I sometimes buy things that are too big for me at the time, or too small for me at the time, excuse me, uh, because I know that I had been losing weight. So I have bought the, I bought this particular cardigan at the same time that I bought that gray cardigan. So at the time that I bought this cardigan, it fit well, and, the time, and at the same time that gray cardigan was a little tight. Now that gray cardigan fits well, and this one is a little big because I've been losing weight. So I'm at a crossword roads. This can be like an oversized, like very like comfy, like in the house, ooh, like nice sweater to wear. I got it because it's from Banana Republic. It is a size large, but should I keep it for me? Should I keep it for me? Honestly, I got this to wear to work. I don't really wear cardigans at the house. Honestly, I'm kind of a hobo and I just wear like, I shouldn't say hobo. I'm kind of lazy and I just wear like sweatshirts and like hoodies and stuff inside the house. So it's not real realistic to say that I would wear this inside the house. Like honestly, I would more likely, I would be more likely to wear like a sweater or like a hoodie or something like that with a jacket, like a zip up jacket around the house if I'm like cold. I've never grabbed this. Like when I'm cold, like in the morning, I've never grabbed this. I've always grabbed like a hoodie. So for that reason, I'm probably gonna have to go ahead and let someone else give this a home. Um, especially because of the fact that it's like too long. Like now that I'm a little bit slimmer, I don't want to like say that to try to brag that I am a little bit slimmer than I was when I first purchased this. It like, it's taking up less space here, and it's taking up more space here. So it just makes me look shorter, and it's not super flattering. Like literally, it like covers my butt. Like I'm not gonna show you, but it covers my butt. So that's not like a super flattering. It's not. I mean, it's not like everything has to be like flattering and like you know the way that you look. But the look that I go for for work is just like polished, put together, classic. And I don't want something like super like hanging down, like kind of sloppy, kind of like lazy kind of look. 
that's more of like for the weekend or for um, casual vibe. So I know I'm like torn. Like I don't want to give it up, but I need to give it up. Sort of thing. So I think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna let this one go. I think I'm gonna let this one go because it's not like I don't have cardigans. I have cardigans. It's just that this one doesn't fit me as well as it used to. Like I feel like it served its purpose. Okay, now I'm trying to convince myself. It served its purpose. It did what it's supposed to do. I've had it for like two years at least, at least two years, if not longer. So I feel like it served its purpose, and it can go to someone else. It can go to someone else. I will let this one go. Okay. It's another item to the low. Now this item is just tragic. Like it's so tragic. This jacket, like, look at this. Like, I can't even really put my arms down. I used to, okay, so this is a blazer that has a black and white detail in it. It's not just boring black. It's like a knit material and it's like black and white. This used to fit me so well. It was like, not oversized. It wasn't like a fitted jacket, but it's just like, you know, a nice jacket. But I accidentally washed it on warm setting and now it doesn't fit like it doesn't even fit in the shoulders like i can't even really wear it and like look at the sleeves the sleeves just hit me at the appropriate level and now you can like see the lining like this is so bad i feel so bad because like and i used to be able to like close it like 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 i'm just holding it like it's not like it's not even close to the button it's not it's not anywhere close to the button it is so sad and like it has pockets. I mean it still has pockets, but like I used the pockets. Like it was so great, but now it's just like I can't use this. Like it needs some like I'm not even a tall person and it's not reaching my wrist anymore. I hate to say it, but I ruined this jacket. I ruined this blazer. And now I have to give it away to Goodwill. Like if it wasn't ruined, I would keep it, but like I ruined it so and I don't know how to fix it. Like, I don't know how to fix it. If I knew how to fix it, I would do that. But I don't think you can fix shrunken clothes. Can you? Can you fix shrunken blazers? Does anyone know the answer to that question? Because I would love to know. Because I really like this blazer. Like, it was so perfect. But, like, like literally, like, the seam is, like, hitting me right here. It's not even, like, in my armpit anymore. Or maybe there's somebody out here, out there, who this will fit. Like, this would probably fit a child now. That's probably who would fit, and then like the person who the, the parent who bought it would have to like fix the lining so it doesn't show anymore. But I'm like so 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 upset. Like this is a tragedy. This is like an L for me. I've never like legit shrunk something before, but I shrunk this blazer, and I don't know what to do about it other than give it back to Goodwill. I got this from Goodwill too. That's the other thing. I got this from Goodwill. It was like a perfect find. It wasn't like, oh, I can just buy another one from the brand. Like, I got this from Goodwill for, like, less than $10, I think. Pretty sure less than $10. And I ruined it. I wore it, I will say, in my defense, I wore it for, like, a year to a year and a half. And then I decided to wash it on warm water. Like, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? I don't know. But I ruined this jacket. And now I have to give it away. So... I hate to end on a sad note, but this is the last, this is the last item. That was all my tops. All of my tops for fall and winter and all of my jackets for fall and winter. So next video, you're going to see me try on all my bottoms and we'll see how that goes. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do all of my bottoms and all of my dresses. Bottoms and dresses can just like go together because I really don't have that many dresses that are just for winter, but we'll see. I thought I didn't have that many tops, but this is like already an hour long and I have to edit this down to like a reasonable time that people actually watch. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you watched it all the way to the end. If you did, give it a like. Don't forget to leave me a comment if you like these type of videos. Subscribe. I know that by the time you're watching this, it is not spring anymore, but for right now, the time that I'm filming this, this is my spring cleaning and I hope you enjoyed the shenanigans. Check me out um, for the links that I have here for other videos if you like these types of videos. And I will see you all next time. Bye.